Yawn. Good morning, everybody. Uh, so, wish there was a way to close or minimize this so you could see the, the background here. Maybe there is. I'm completely new here. This game is Vintage Story. I, I have never played before. I did enough just to set up the server for uh, me and my friends and community, anybody who wanted to play. And, and I'm going to figure out what this is. Like, part of me doesn't want to say what, what uh, I think this is, because I might be entirely wrong. Looks a little dark. I see a little mud hut over there. So this game certainly looks a lot like Minecraft. Might even act a lot like Minecraft. What does that sound? Uh oh. I, can I open this? Yes, I can. Am I safe here? What is that? Oh, no, 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 no. I thought I was playing a survival game. Turns out I'm playing a horror game. Maybe? This is night. I think I really got myself off to a rough start here. My friends are already playing this game, or have been. shouldn't be wandering around out at night, but I, I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. I have some idea. I get the general gist of the game. Fishy. I think right now I'm just looking for sticks. Maybe some stones, you know, in case their bones break. friends seriously played right until night time and then noped out because it was spooky. Right. I don't even know the controls yet. doing? Find flint and stones. Got flint and chalk stone. Just try 
click. Place on the ground and start napping. I honestly don't know what I want. Uh, axe head? destroyed my only flint. Alright, well, what can I do with you? I can put you down and pick you up. Okay. Sounds spooky out there. Alright, well... That's pretty loud. Hang on. Is that a little better? Yeah. Okay, so now for an actual intro to the game. This, this is Vintage Story. If I had to guess, I'd say it was uh, started as a mod for Minecraft and eventually Eventually, they realized it was just easier to make the entire game themselves. Instead of keeping trying to make Minecraft the game they want it to be. Uh, it is not on Steam or Epic, as far as I know. Maybe someday they will be, but... Uh, and there are reasons for that. They've, they've got a list of reasons on their, their fact. But I was looking to Twitch for games I should stream next, and it suggested this one. And I watched some people play it. It's basically like a very hardcore primitive survival game. Where... As you can see, the night gets real spooky, but everything, everything you do is just way more difficult. Like, uh, for example, I just found flint. I was trying to make an axe head. It looks like I needed to chisel out the shape of the axe head. And I needed to find some sticks and I need to tie that all together so I can actually have it like my basic tools that gives me into you know stone age and then I can eventually uh, find metals maybe start uh, building a kiln or stuff oh it's dark in here I think I'm gonna die Cooked red meat. Oh, whoops. I opened the door, but I can't see. I'm trying to figure out how to eat meat. back in there. We need some sort of basket. I just stole all my friend's food. Alright. Well. How do I look at my character? There I am. 
I started out as a tailor class. Because I figured it'd be useful to be able to make clothes in this like extreme survival game. Because I assume winters are going to be very harsh. And it is it is awkward uh, talking over all this humming inside. Is there any way I can know what time it is? Maybe there's a console to make command slash time. Oh, I don't have the privilege to use this. this. Um, well, neat. I am the owner of the server, you realize. Hey guys. Lovely night, isn't it? Alright. So while we're in here, let's come up with a plan. Got stones. Probably need more flint. Get stones and flint, and then maybe I can actually do things. Get some wood, get a shovel. Wonder if that's what my friends did. They just got shovel and axe and made this little mud hut. Seems like the easiest way to to do something. I can build my next door mud hut. How long is night? I do appreciate that it's getting steadily brighter. turn down the volume even further because I want to talk to everybody but I keep feeling like I'm talking over these <laughs> these little uh, drifters I think they're called and that feels rude I'll fill in this time with a story. So the other day we were having a rainstorm and our driveway was just filling up with water uh, faster than it would drain out of the driveway. My wife is like, grab a bucket, we need to bail. I was like, I am not bailing water out of my driveway that, that against the rain. Like, that feels like a losing battle. So I got a hose, and I siphoned. Like, I've never siphoned before, and uh, you basically put one hose in the deep, one end of the hose in the deep water, and you suck on the other one until, like, stuff just starts flowing out through magic. Because 
gravity and laws of nature don't apply inside a hose, I guess. And, uh, yeah. I got a mouthful of disgusting mud water. I am kind of happy that, uh... Oh, Little cuties. Is that a little baby one? Oh, it's just a little crawly guy. You guys ever go away? Look at them all trying their best. Come on, I see daylight. Let me out. When do you guys go away? What's this door you made out of? How do I make a door? That's what I want to know. There's a tutorial here. And I've crashed my game. Are tutorials illegal? Stack empty. All right. Well, that was just the best recording I've ever had. Let's hop in here again. You can even pretend this is the start. Hey. Oh, hey guys, welcome to the stream. This is Old Man Sugarheart, trying Vintage Story for the first time. What even is Vintage Story? Oh, weird, I'm in a house. How did that happen? Alright, everything has seemed to, uh, to have gone away. Okay. Chalk stones. Cool, cool. Alright, over here in the water. Or chalk. Flint. Hey, Flint. Oh, a spooky cave. I can see how beautiful the landscape really is. Alright. Nice place. A little baby piggy. I need some sticks. Uh, so if I was a stick, I'd probably be... Is that a wolf? 
Oh shit! Sorry. Sorry, my man. I won't hurt you. Just wandering around aimlessly. Ah, uh, chop down tree. My friends were here. Some evidence of attempted survival out here. That's why I can't find any sticks. Oh, berries. Paying tab thinking it's gonna open my inventory. Gotta get used to these controls. Alright, looks like I need a flint knife or a scythe to gather stuff. I think I need I, I do need sticks for that. Ugh, I've wandered too far. I want to stay somewhat close to that mountain because I feel like it is going to be where we start our our life our, our thriving village because I don't know for certain but I assume everybody kind of spawns in the same location give or take Is that a wolf? Looks like a wolf. I hear wolves are vicious. Is that a sheep? These little wolf pups? How cute. Probably gonna die in here. Wandering in the forest seems like the worst idea in a survival game. But. I want sticks, I gotta go to where the trees are, right? I wonder if that's what my friends used to cook the meat. They were just like, grab all the sticks, throw them into the fire. Yay, sticks! What are you? tail. Oh, bunny. I wonder if a dead bunny means, uh, sort of around. I 
want a few more sticks before I go back and start building tools. If I build an axe and start chopping down trees, I wonder... What is that neat growth? Some more berries. Is there a different kind of berries? Cranberries. All right. Now we can make every kind of juice. We just need to find every kind of fruit. I don't know if that's really a thing in this game. I'm just going by ocean spray rules. Am I might picking up chalk stones? Gotcha, so a stack size is 64. I don't know what I'm looking at here, but it's beautiful. Oh, there's a, another weird growth. Are those rocks flying? Hello, sheep. Waterfall. Yeah, it seems like first day we're just gonna go around admiring the beauty of nature while theoretically binding sticks. Oh, I can't carry it anymore, can I? Berries. Oh, yeah, this is beautiful. I am lost. I'm not lost. I know exactly where everything else is. want a few more sticks? Why is that so hard? Wait, what if I... Uh, can I... butcher these bushes for sticks? Maybe if I had a flint knife. There we go. Sticks. Sticks. 